黒リッキー健ですコーヒートーク始まりますはい、私はいつも、ティーエスプレッソを、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、Kind of addicted to it.、Uh, I drink a lot, a lot of coffee in the morning, afternoon, you know, whenever I have a chance. So, in Japan, I think I matcha tea. I guess matcha tea is a big thing, like a type of tea, a type of tea, matcha. So I think that could be the replacement of coffee in Japan. But、um, I like both.、Um, you know, I, I drink matcha as well. But you know, for now, I, I drink a lot more coffee than matcha for sure. I was born in Tokyo, but I moved there、uh, when I was younger.、Uh, the place is called Kita Kyushu.、Uh, it's in the southern prefecture,、uh, uh, far from a major city like Tokyo, but、um, it's, a, it's a decent sized city. The size of the city actually is,、uh, the population was, it's, it's a lot bigger. Obviously,、uh, Japan is、uh, more populated、uh, than some of the places here. so... Uh, but the city itself, I think it's about the same size where I grew up,、uh, Montreal is. I, saw, I think a lot more c a r like, it just, you, they just use a lot more c a r、um, here and, or in the States. So, because、um, obviously in Japan, everybody uses tra public transportation. So,、um, but I like both cultures and the, and the spaces and all that stuff. So, Um, but I absolutely like, like Montreal so far.、Uh, at first, I was excited, but you know, once the reality hits,、uh, hit me,、uh, I was like, I was like kind of overwhelmed at times, you know, different culture, different language.、Um, but, you know, with the support of family and my friends,、uh, I, I got through real quick, so I'm thankful for that. I studied,、uh, it's called applied engineering.、Uh, it's like some, some people call it industrial engineering.、Um, Type of engineering, but you know,、um, I, I actually enjoyed it.、Um, you know, outside of soccer, I had a lot of time to do stuff、uh, on my own, so you know, just to have you know, to keep, keep me busy,、uh, I studied that and I enjoyed it. I was good at it more so than I enjoyed it.、Um, you know, I was, I was, I was, I've always had an interest in the science,、uh, math, mathematics, so.、Um, That's what, I, that's what I was good at, and that's what I majored in. So, you know, you never know with the. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to enjoy it as much as I enjoy my job right now, because、um, this is my passion, and、uh, I don't think is, there's anything that could exceed this, and, you know, or to have this passion, or like as much passion as I have for soccer, I don't think there's gonna be anything like that. So, For now, I, I'm just focused on what I'm doing here and see what happens、uh, after, after soccer. Yeah, of course,、uh, my mom still lives in Japan.、Uh, so, my mom's side of the family,、uh, they all live in Japan. So, I、uh, regularly speak to her and my grandparents and her side of family.、Um, so, yes,、uh, I started playing when I was、uh, about four.、Um, my brother is, I have an older brother, an older, older sister.、Uh, they both started playing. Around the same time when they have、uh, around six and seven, and I was four, so I joined his team basically.、Uh, I, I was always playing with his friends, my friends, you know, anywhere I could find like, you know, people that, that were playing.、Uh, obviously, soccer is a lot bigger in Japan than、uh, North America. I mean, obviously, North America is growing, but, you know,、uh, in Japan, soccer is a main sport, so everybody was playing. Um, so that's how I got into soccer. For me, it was tough because I've always,、um, you know, I, I didn't make the, the best teams, I guess, in, the, in, the, in my area. So when, even when I was in Japan, I was always, I played for a school team.、Uh, you know, I barely had a coach. I, I honestly didn't have a coach for the, when I was, you know, from 12 to 15, I didn't have a coach. It was a street soccer, basically. So,、um, 
it was tough. Like I didn't know like how far I could have gone. Um, obviously, because I didn't know the outside of my area. Like I didn't know who, you know, I didn't know much about the world. I guess. Um, so uh, for me, it was tough. But you know, coming here um, from from Japan, just seeing the world a little more, a little more, it helped me understand that where where I could be in the future. And when I was in college. Uh, my coach came up to me and he said, you know, I, I could do something special with, with soccer. So that's, I think that's the moment I realized that I could do something special um, with soccer and make it my career. Um, so I think something like that, um, you know, someone believing in me, I think helped me uh, a little bit more. Even the tough times, like the culture of Japan is to never give up. It's like, it's the, the culture of soccer and the, the lifestyle in general. They, they never give up on anything they do and they work as hard as they could and I think that helped me be the player I am today actually. Uh, you know, I'm the type of player who never gives up uh, on plays, anything. Even if we're went losing 3 nothing, I would give everything, you know, until the, the whistle blows at the end. So, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm very happy uh, that J J Japan's doing well and the spirit they're, they're putting in, in the game. I mean, I, I, honestly, I think once the summer hit, like I, I started to explore more, and uh, I didn't expect to, the city to be like this beautiful. Actually, uh, I've been to some of the the canal, uh, Lachine Canal, uh, the Mount Royal, some of the places that I've, I didn't go in the, in the winter, and uh, I'm loving the city more and more. And it's I, I I'm, I'm actually surprised. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, so I can't wait to explore more. But um, We'll see, we'll see what uh, Montreal has for me.